Hello and welcome to our weekly programme. Next week, Parliament will be in Strasbourg for this year's second plenary session. There will be debates and votes on important issues, such as sanctions against employers of illegally staying third country nationals. The key debate will be on measures to combat climate change, and there will also be a debate on the EU Strategic Energy Review. German MEP Karl Heinz Florence is rapporteur on recommendations for the EU's future integrated policy on climate change. The report has come from Parliament's temporary committee on climate change and follows last year's climate and energy package. The draft report contains 150 proposals, covering nearly every aspect of the issue. Some of the main points are the need for awareness raising, technology investment and research. The debate will take place on Wednesday morning. A related report on energy issues, the second strategic energy review, will be debated when Parliament convenes on Monday and Slovenian MEP Romana Jordan Sigel is the EPP ED spokesperson. In the Committee on Industry, Research and Energy, she has secured some important points for the EPP ED group, such as improved security of energy supply, diversified sources and routes of energy supply, maintaining national decision-making power over energy sources, and recognition of the importance of coal and nuclear within the energy mix. Employment of illegally staying third country nationals is considered a problem in several member states. A report proposing sanctions on such employers will be debated by MEPs on Tuesday morning. Maltese MEP Simon Busatil is EPP ED spokesperson on a report attempting to stem employment of illegally staying third country nationals in the EU. This initiative is already supported by more or less all member states and the EPP ED group ensured that member states remain responsible for implementing the more important sections of the report. And finally, in their meeting on Tuesday, the EPP ED group will be joined by Ivo Sanada, Prime Minister of EU candidate country Croatia, and Commission President Jose Manuel Barroso. For more information on the week's highlights, log on to our website, epp-ed.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.